today we shall learn a very interesting topic okay which is to show an irrational number we have to prove that uh, this type of numbers root p where p is a prime number so root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 root 11 okay all these are prime numbers that we have to prove of course you got these numbers as irrational number in class 9 is not it what we can recall if a number is in the form p by q then that numbers are called rational numbers where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 and if we cannot express a number in the form p by q then it is not rational that is irrational moreover we have we got another definition of irrational number that it should be a non-recurring and non-repeating numbers is that it okay let it be in class 10 for exercise 1.3 uh, we have this type of problems that to show root 2 root 3 etc are the irrational numbers for that we have to use a very interesting theorem the theorem states if p is a prime number and p divides a square p divide divides a square where a is any integer then p divides a try to understand the theorem very nicely p should be a prime number and p should divide a number in the form a square then if p divides a square then p also divides a for example 2 is a prime number and 2 divides what 6 square 6 square means 36 36 is divisible by 2 then we can say that this a a means 6 here this 2 divides 6 now basing on this theorem we shall prove that root 2 is an irrational number for that we have to use the contradiction method what is the contradiction method suppose we shall take at first that it is not a uh, irrational number that means it is a uh, rational number okay finally we will get a contradiction that uh, because of rational number we got uh, a wrong information so it should not be a rational number it should be a irrational number so that is called a method of contradiction first you have to take uh, yes finally you will get no is that it in that way okay uh, let us take root 2 as a rational number root 2 can be expressed in the form p by q because a rational number means p by q form where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 within bracket i am writing to make you understand after this sentence we can write this let root 2 equal to p by q that means in this form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 and p and p and q are co prime now what is co prime what is co prime co prime means their acf is one that means they don't have common other than one they don't have common other than one one is the common factor for both p and q suppose 4 by 8 4 by 8 4 by 8 okay 4 by 8 there is a common factor 2 one of course it is common but there is another common factor which is 2 because by 2 we can divide both 4 and 8 after cancellation it will be 2 by 4 again there is common 2 again we can cancel 2 by 4 means 1 by 2 now 1 by 2 they don't have common other than 1 now 1 and 2 will be called as co prime okay so this is how we have taken here p by q p by q means they don't have common uh, that means after cancellation we cannot cancel further that is called the lowest form also okay lowest form uh, or co prime that means they have common only one their acf is one so this will give us what this will give us if we cross multiply root 2 and q it will be root 2 q equal to p root to q equal to p then if we square both sides then it will be whole square equal to p square 
root 2 square means 2 then q square then equal to p square let it be number 1 implies this 2 we can brought to this side it will be p square by 2 is that it p square by 2 so q square equal to p square by 2 uh, as we know p and q both are integers integers means what the round figure numbers so when we divided p square by 2 we got an integer which is q square that means what when we got a uh, when we uh, got a integer got an integer after dividing if it is exactly divisible that means if p square is exactly divisible by 2 then only we will get an integer this side is that it so uh, we can write 2 divides p square 2 divides p square and by using this theorem using this theorem if p divides a square then p divides a p should be prime here 2 is prime so if 2 divides p square then 2 divides p if 2 divides p square then 2 divides p by using that theorem is that it okay if p div if 2 divides p that means we will get another integer if we p if we divide p by 2 it will be exactly divisible exactly divisible means we will get another integer which is say m put p equal to 2m in 1 equation 1 we will get 2q square equal to 2m whole square this will give us 2q square equal to 4m square if we divide both sides by 2 we will get q square equal to 2m square If we bring this 2 to this side, then it will be q square by 2 equal to m square. What is m? m is some integer. That means m is an integer. If m is an integer, then m square is also an integer. Is that it? So q square divided by 2 is an integer. That means 2 divides q square. Exactly divisible, that means. And by using that theorem, we will get that 2 divides q okay this means 2 is the common factor both p and q why because here we got here we got what 2 divides p 2 divides p again here we got 2 divides q 2 divides p 2 divides q that means what 2 is common factor to both p and q but what we have supposed here what we have supposed here we have supposed that p and q are co prime that means they don't have common other than one two is not the common factor co prime means only one is the common factor but we got two is the common factor now two is the common factor so what we got 2 is the common factor to both p and q but we suppose p and q are co primes that means they don't have common other than one so what we got we raise the contradiction in a contradiction this contradiction here is the contradiction there we got p and q are co prime here we got 2 is the common factor to both p and q that is the contradiction is that it and why this contradiction happened this happened because we took root 2 as a rational number so when we suppose root 2 as a rational number then we arrive at the contradiction okay that means what root 2 should be root 2 should be irrational 